Now, Ekamukhi, wearing a Rudraksh, which is not suitable for you, can cause a lot of disturbance to your life. The legend says, Rudraksh is actually the tears of Shiva. So Shiva sat in a meditative state for a very long time. Everybody thought he is dead because he was completely unmoving. It looks like there was no breath, there was no nothing. But off and on, Tears of ecstasy dribbled out of his eyes. That was the only sign of life that he showed, that there was an ecstasy that he could not control, which made him absolutely still at the same time, once in a way tears of ecstasy dribbled down. These teardrops fell on the planet or on the ground or in the earth and became Rudraksh. That is what Rudra's Aksha means. These are Shiva's teardrops. And one time I had eight very wonderful Ekamukhis with me. I threw all of them into the Kaveri River. A very powerful Rudra's. When I came to the, the conclusion of Dhyanalingam consecration, I went and dropped it in the Kaveri River. You can try, I can tell you where I dropped it. <laughs> Very wonderful, powerful Rudraksh. Now, Ekamukhi, wearing a Rudraksh which is not suitable for you can cause a lot of disturbance to your life. Generally we say, if you wear Ekamukhi, within twelve days you'll leave your family. The question is not whether you will leave your family or not, the nature of the Ekamukhi is such, it will set you into that kind of mode that you cannot be with people. It is for an ascetic. It is not for somebody who wants to live in family situations where there is physical contact with people, emotional contact with people. This won't assist you. It will just pull you away in a different direction. If you try to go this way, when it's pulling you that way, it will cause disasters to your life. I know people, all these eight Rudraksh, one was given to me by somebody else who had it. All the other seven came to me from people who had in their families inheriting it for a long time and it was causing havoc in their families. And when I looked at them, I told them, these are the troubles that you have and you got a Rudraksh in your house. You remove it from your place, everything will be okay. So they offloaded it on me. I kept it with me somewhere between fifteen to, you know, the last one, maybe three, four years, but in a span of about fifteen years, I collected this eight Rudraks. And once the Dhyanalingam was over, I just put all of them into the river. I could have offloaded it on you, I'm sure you're willing. <laughs>